Welcome to our program called Cervical Screening by Self-Sampled HPV Testing. HPV stands for Human Papilloma Virus. This virus is very common and usually does not hurt you. But if you get it and your body has trouble controlling it, HPV can cause cancer. It is the cause of cervical cancer and cancer deaths all over the world. This testing program will help you to know if you have this virus. If the results of your test come out as positive, you will be called back for further examination to see if you need treatment to prevent cervical cancer. In the next few minutes, I will be describing the process of taking the sample to test for HPV. This test procedure is very simple and should not cause you any pain. If you have difficulty in self-collection, please stop and tell any of the program staff. Before you take the sample, make sure you understand where the sample will be taken from. From the diagram, you will see a representation of your private parts. This is the vulva. It is the part of your private parts that you can see. It has various parts. These include the labia majora, the labia minora, and the two openings. These are the openings of the urethral and the opening of the birth canal. The urethral carries urine from your bladder. It is located above the opening of the birth canal. The birth canal leads to your womb. The lower one third of your womb is the cervix. The cervix is the opening to your womb. You will be taking the sample from your birth canal. You will be using a special test kit to take the test sample. Your kit has two parts, a tube and a brush. The tube has a little fluid inside it. This fluid is a special chemical. It is to preserve the sample you take with the brush. Do not let the fluid come in contact with your mouth. The bristles of the brush are soft. It will not hurt you. Please follow the steps to take your sample. 1. Wash your hands. 2. Open the kit and take the tube out of the pack. Place the tube in an empty socket of a rack available on the table. Unscrew or pull off the cap from the tube and place the cap down on a table with the inside of the cap pointing up. Please ensure to keep the tube upright so that the fluid in the tube does not pour away. Leave the brush and the kit bag on the table. 3. Stand in a relaxed position with knees slightly bent. You can also put one leg on a stool if that feels more comfortable. Pick up the brush with the handle. Be careful not to let the tips of the brush touch anything. 4. Spread your labia with one hand and gently insert the brush into the birth canal opening. Please be careful not to let your fingers or any other surface touch the tip of the brush. 5. Continue to insert the brush by gently rotating the brush to the left or to the right until you meet resistance. Do not be in rush. Be very slow and gentle. Do not put the brush more than 10 cm in. Remember, you can call the nurse for help anytime. 6. Gently hold the brush in place. Count to 10 slowly. Then rotate the brush 5 times in a circle to collect the sample. 7. Now remove the brush and put it in the provided tube with the brush facing down. Make sure it touches the bottom of the tube. When the brush reaches the bottom, the handle will be sticking out. Make sure that the brush does not touch anything other than the inside of the bottle. Leave the room and from the nurse that you have completed the sampling. Wait till the nurse goes inside and collects the sample tube. Please fill out the feedback form provided by the nurse. That's all there is to it. Our staff will call you in one to two weeks when the results of your tests are available. Thank you once again for participating in this program. Feel free to refer other women to also come for screening. It may just save their lives.